Hey guys, so I spent some time this weekend getting OBS set up to capture video and audio from Cakewalk. So I wanted to show you guys how I set it up, how I was able to do it, um, especially the audio routing part of it because that was really the hardest part since I'm using ASIO, obviously. So here's how I did it. Okay, so there are a couple things that you'll need to download and install. First one, I, was, I would say start with this one. It's a piece of software from VB Audio called Banana or Voice Meter Banana. And what it is, is it's a virtual audio mixer, I would say audio router. Um, it's got quite a few features. I haven't really played around with a lot of them. The only thing I wanted to get it to do was to route audio from Cakewalk to OBS. Um, speaking of which, that's the other piece of software that you'll need, OBS Studio. Um, so once you download and install both of those, then you'll need to set them up correctly so that it actually does route the audio the way it needs to go. So here's what Voice Meter Banana looks like when it's up and running. For me, I have a Tascam audio interface and so that's my primary interface. This is where you select that. Um, this is the one that seems to work. The other two, A2, A3, you don't need to worry about those. If it does have something selected, you can even go so far as to say remove device selection. And then all of my, so my microphone is plugged into my audio interface and this kind of takes over and replaces your interface's driver. So now my uh, microphone input is coming through this hardware input one. And you can see obviously the meter going and everything. From there that routes that to A1, the hardware out. Um, but it also routes it to B1 and B2, which are these right here, the virtual outputs. Um, you can pretty much just copy my settings, I think. But the other thing that you need to see is if you click menu and go to system settings options, this is kind of the piece that I had to watch a lot of YouTube videos to figure out. You'll want to, this should be default like this, one and two. But then down here, I had to change this to insert number four left, insert number four right. Um, and then I changed these two just to copy the video that I was watching, but these I don't think are important. What is important is those two and then in left, in one left, in one right. This is important because that's what uh, sonar needs to see. Okay, so once you've got that set up, then you also need to make sure if you click your system um, audio settings, playback devices, let me get that over here. You'll see that if you scroll all the way down, there's the voice meter input. You need to click that and set it as your default. Same thing for recording. Make that your default. Uh, something that's annoying on, on my machine, I don't know if everybody's like this, but every time I start up my computer, then I have to go in and reset that as the default. Windows won't remember that it's the default. Don't know why, but that's just the way it's been working so far. Okay, so make sure you set those. That's all set up. You can get out of there. And then the next thing, it's kind of freaky. Um, you'll need to open up OBS and you can go through the tutorials or watch the help um, videos, whatever you want to do. But you need to do a couple things. You need to create a new scene. It's called desktop. And that's where you define what's going to show up on the on the video, which screen, um, if you have multiple screens. And then over here, sources. Okay, display capture. That tells you which display you're looking at, resolution, uh, whether you want capture cursor or not. But then the, the thing that I was missing out on for a little bit, but was the key, was setting up the voice meter banana as a source. So to do that, you have to click the plus or right click and say audio input capture. Okay. So once I did that, you can see I renamed it and that's where you choose voice meter output 
VB Audio Voice Meter Vial. Okay, there's also this option for uh, my audio interface stuff and for this aux output. I don't use that. I don't think that I need to for anything I'm trying to do. So just leave that as voice meter output VB audio. Okay. And so once that's set up, then you can open up Cakewalk. And what you'll have to do here is go to preferences, devices. Okay, you can see now, since you have voice meter banana, it's got all these different options. Um, ignore the aux again. We're not going to use that. I started out trying to use these, but because if you remember back from the settings, I had it set up as those patch points. So now I've got these two that I'm using. Voice meter insert virtual ASIO insert number one left. Um, and then also number four left. The reason I set up number four is because that's what can bring in system audio. So like if I wanted to record something that I'm, I don't know, playing in iTunes or watching a YouTube video, something like that, then I can use this and record that system audio. So that's pretty cool. And then down here um, for outputs, voice meter insert, number one left. And that's all you need. Um, I don't know, depending on your audio interface, it might be different, but that's what works for my little Tascam. Driver settings, um, nothing major, sampling rate, try to keep that, keep everything matching, obviously. Playback and recording. For me, one thing that was key was I had to say use this MMCSS. My system <laughs> is kind of old, so that was important. Otherwise, it started kind of breaking up and getting staticky when I was trying to record audio. Okay. I think that's all you need in there. So now you can see my input, input is just set to stereo. I could probably just make it left since my mic's only in the left channel. Um, but you know, let me get voice meter back open. You can see I've got this set to mono so that even though my mic's in the left channel and I would record guitar to the right channel, um, they'll both come into here and they'll just sum to, to one mono um, track. Okay. And then let's see, just to show that it actually works. Something like that. Okay. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Answers your questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. Happy to help out. Thanks.